Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning how to auto process ores. Hope you guys are ready. All right, so let's hop right on into this. I have right here a seared tank. I took it off my smeltery, and I found this awesome little uh, thing way down underground um, while I was mining. I heard it bubbling, and I was like, oh wow. And this is some kind of uh, structure because it looks like basalt is all beside it. So this is some kind of uh, generated lava pool. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like the, the basalt beside it. It kind of gives it a good look. Um, but I'm going to gather a bunch of lava, put it, fill this thing up till it is maxed out. Yeah, it won't take no more, but we have another bucket. Awesome, and we are going to double some ore with this guy. And yeah, you can see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through this. I am gonna change a, a few things so I'm not bashing my head on the, uh, the stone there, but um, yeah, I've mined all this up. I've got a little bit of uh, ore, and uh, these tiny torches, they don't light up a great big area. I think they, they I don't think they light up as much as a full-size torch. Um, so there's a drawback to that, because it seems like I'm placing more of these than I normally would place regular torches. Um, as you can see, they're everywhere. But um, basically just keeping mobs from spawning. Like, I got an area right there where mobs are spawning. And to get that, you just hit F7. Yeah, F7 will show you areas mobs can spawn. Let's see. Yes, it holds its contents. That's awesome. All right, so I want to get uh, some ore. Let's go ahead and take that out. I have some ore on me, but I want to go ahead and double some ore here. Um, and a good way to do this, let's see, we can get an ingot just like that. And hopefully, let's see, we got one ingot of gold. I don't know if the gold will pour out. I don't know if it's only one for this casting. Okay, it's going to require, I think it's two gold per casting. Um, let's see, I know I have some gold ore, so we'll just use that. We'll get two gold ore out of that. No emeralds, I, I want you. I want these emeralds. All right, there we go. And once one of these guys will cook up, I'll throw that in there. Um, but basically it's gonna cast an, an ingot. Um, what else do I need to do? I have two gold right there. All right, so today I, I kinda wanna get some power generation up and running. I want to get power and hopefully get into some ore processing. So if we look at Ender IO, which I love Ender IO's uh, processing, um, I always stick with it. I love it so much. Um, with Ender IO, we can go ahead and make, let's see, maybe they change the recipe. I don't know. It may be more expensive. It looks like the alley smell tree is the same. Um, where is the furnace? They have a vat. Um, where's that? I don't see the generator. Oh, right here, right at the right at the top. So the generator is really simple to make. It requires one iron. That's it. Just one piece of iron. Um, and it, it burns coal. Um, it burns solid fuel to generate power, can be upgraded to increase output and efficiency with capacitors. Now we do have those capacitors and they were telling me they work in Inter-IO machines, so hopefully that's a thing. I need to get this away before I accidentally place it. Alright, so we're going to need to get some cobblestone, we're going to need to get some smooth stone, and I think that's it. Grab some cobblestone. We're gonna need one thing of redstone, which I did get some redstone. And we're gonna need some iron. I see you down there. Okay, he's good. He can't come over here. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me actually get a porch. I don't want some. I don't want a creeper accidentally spawning over here. Um, but yeah, this should be done. Let me go ahead and get get the. Uh, the gold in there and we can go ahead and make this guy so we man that guy is really bugging me all right so we just need some wood cobblestone 
Just like that, we'll get ourselves a piston. And then we need, I think it was cobblestone in each of the corners. Actually, let's make sticks first. It was sticks in each corner. And cobblestone, I think, in the middle. Yes. And we need two of those basic gears. And then we need the smooth stone, the brick. So let's go ahead and make that. We actually need five. That was my bad. There we go. And I think it was cut something like this with a piston and then a furnace was in the middle. And I'm missing the furnace. There we go. Now we have a furnace. And yes, built just like this. Um, you can also shift click items in if that's more your thing. But there we go. We have a sterling generator. Now this sterling generator is going to be and where do I want to put these guys? I'm gonna have to dig out a little area for the uh, for the generator. I can go ahead and break this, I guess, because once we get this going, we're not gonna need that anymore. All right. So with the cobblestone, let's just fill this whole area out. Gonna make it level with everything else. Kind of awkward walking around in here. There we go. And I can go ahead and place the generator. Let's place it right here. Um, okay, so no power at the moment. And we have no capacitors. So let's get us some coal. And if we throw some coal in there, it's going to start generating power. It's 20 RF a tick. And the burn rate is at 100%. Now, we do have these guys. So this is a speed and range of machines. What it's saying, speed and range. They were saying it works in the machines. Maybe it's a certain machines, but it does go in the slot. It's not really saying what it's doing though. So that's kind of confusing to me. So yeah, um, it just says, oh, this increases, yeah, it says it increases energy storage. I'm not really noticing anything. It says don't turn it on, take it apart. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused at what these guys do. Everyone's saying they go in Ender IO machines. Maybe they go in the, what we're about to make. All right, so I do need to get an alloy smeltery up and running and that's gonna require a bit of iron. That's why I'm hoping to get this going. Um, let me make sure that this is facing down. We'll finish pouring that cast. There we go. And it burns up the ingot. If you didn't notice that. Okay. So this guy can pour out now. Pour out the gold ingots, which I don't want it to do, but it did anyways. Um, let me go ahead and put that back in there. Switch this down. And we can now pour out our our uh, iron, just like that. Now this is manual, and I don't think I want to do it manually right now. Um, actually, we can we can continue doing it manually. It's no big deal. We're fixing to go fully up, fully uh, automatic. So uh, just having four right now, I think, is what we need. We need a few more than four, I think. Actually, let's make a basin. I do have enough stuff to make that. So let's get a basin. I think the basin is uh, like this. There we go. There's a basin. And now I can just break this. Not even worry about that cast. I can just pour entire block of iron in there. Perfect. So now we're doubling that. All right. So this has a lot of power building up. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves a not there we go let's get ourselves a sag mill um, it requires some flint a piston and a machine casing a basic capacitor 
Looks like some copper. And I don't have any of the copper cooked up yet, but I'm going to do that. And we need some gold hooked up. And what else would we need? Just basically iron, and we have a bunch of iron right now. All right, so let's go ahead and start making some of this stuff. Let me make sure I have the three of those. What else do we need? That's it. Like we have the wood already. All right, so here's where the lovely auto crafting will come in handy. All right, we'll take those. And the basic capacitor, I don't have the stuff for yet. I'm waiting for this. Now I have it. And now I'll have that. Awesome. So the base capacitor. We need some gold nuggets. That was weird. I did not click out of that. That did it on its own. Okay. Imp goldfish? You can get gold nuggets from goldfish. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to need uh, two of these capacitors for sure. I forgot to shift click. Go back. There we go. All right. Two of those, because we're gonna need two machine casings anyways. Um, and hopefully, let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. Now I have two machine casings. Uh, let's get our sag mill. There we go. Piston. Uh, we're missing wood. I thought I had wood on me. I think I've used it all though. All right, so now we have enough wood. Go back to the seg mill. There we go. And the alloy smeltery requires these furnaces, which I don't know if I have enough. I do, okay. That works. All right, so cauldron gonna require a bit of iron. And that's it for the alloy smeltery and the sag mill. We have everything for it too. Okay. So all is all of that is done. Now we have these blocks of iron. Now I'm not too concerned about this because uh, we just got ore doubling. All right. So I'll take the sag mill and the alloy smeltery, place them next to each other. They're of course going to be draining power out of here and filling each other up. And now let's see do these things work inside. Here, did it do anything? No. Well, that's kind of confusing. I don't, I mean, is it like some of them only work? Is that what the deal is? I'm not noticing it. That one did something. That one worked. Okay. So I think I want to put this in here. Okay, so that's doing 40. So now that's enough to cover. This works now. Okay. Whoa, what is that thing? Holy moly. That's dangerous. Need a block. Oh, man. Ooh, that's nasty. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with that. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's try out some more of these. Oh, I know that doesn't work. That works. That is a even better one. So let's put this inside there. And uh, that's almost like an octatic capacitor. Um, let's throw the other better one. There we go. That requires 100 RF. Is this better than... That's 80. That's 80. Okay, so these, these two are the same. Okay, and... Okay, so this... This one doesn't work. That one does. That one doesn't. That one doesn't, that one doesn't, and this one does. All right, so I'll throw all of these away since they don't do anything. 
These guys do work. What is this? 60? 60. Okay, that's fine. Um, I might need to make another generator. I don't know. It looks like these are working pretty good. Okay, so these are set up and working just fine. Um, now I can set up a way to basically uh, connect them. Oh, let's see. Do I want to do that? Basically take, let's see what pipes we have. Do we have some nice see-through pipes? Probably not. We have the transfer pipes from extra utilities. Item transport, transport pipes. Do these require some kind of, there's a request pipe. We can try these. I don't know if that's going to uh, actually let us do what I want to do, but it might. There we go. My inventory is getting crazy now. All right, so let's try and make the transport pipe. We'll do 16, that should work just fine. All right, Torch, you gotta go. Okay, so let's try... Okay, it doesn't look like it's connecting. Maybe I have to... Set this up. Push. So, okay, so no, these aren't... These are not what I'm wanting. Uh, basically, conduits is what I'm wanting, but... Can't afford them right now. We don't have an ender pearl. Alright, there we go. But we can go ahead and get this going. Moment. Uh... If I didn't have this generator right here, it would be a lot easier to do this. We could just use chests. Um, all right, so I can throw the iron in here. It's going really fast because we have that capacitor or have these capacitors in here. Yeah, this should fill up this whole slot, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. I can go ahead and get a chest. That might be useful. Alright, so I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually move these guys around. And I'm going to create another Sterling Generator. Because right here will be the generator. And they do retain all of their stuff. Alright, and then the Sag Mill. I kind of want it to go here. And then a space in between. And I want this here. And then this has to move over one, which is perfectly fine. Just gotta make sure I close this off so no mobs can spawn in here. There we go. And this is only temporary until we get a nice area built up. And then I'm gonna make another uh, generator Another Sterling Generator. I think it was pretty easy. Let's see, yeah, just the basic gears and stuff. Okay, so, let's get, uh, let's get that. Wow, okay. Basic gear. not used to the shift clicking and then um, all of this that should be enough piston and furnace ah we're missing the cobblestone there we go perfect now we have everything we need to make another generator and then I want to grab this awesome guy out of here. That's going to help it. So lucky we got enough of these to uh, make this guy work. And work very well, I must say. All right, and throw that in there. And we have some power for a while now. All right, now to automate this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make Two more chests since I think we already have one. Alright, so we have these chests here. 
and place one chest on top, one chest down here, one chest right here. Make sure you break any blocks above your chests. And then in your Ender IO uh, sag mill, set this to pull. And then on the side, set it to push. And then right here, set it to pull and set this to push. Now all of your uh, processed ore should end up in this chest. So let's go ahead and chest this out. We have a lot of stuff in our inventory. So if we throw all this stuff in here, that should work its way through. Any dust you have, you can just place it in here. And that should work as well. Let's get all of our stuff out of here. There's some dust. As well. And there you go. Just like that, we have some automation going on. And this guy, let's set it to furnace only so we don't start automatically mixing materials together. Yeah, because you don't want to do that because then you might have some problems. You probably will end up, by the way, with some, uh, some smooth cobblestone in here, as you can see, because this... The sag mill does produce, also it produces uh, gravel and I think cobblestone and some stuff, some other random stuff depending on what items are cooking in here. So yeah, so we just beat down this, uh, this awesome Tinker's Construct smeltery. Um, we didn't have to spend too much time at all doubling ores in here because of this. Alright, looks like we are, let's see, how many away? A few iron away. I just need to fill this up enough to get the iron out. So yeah. But yeah. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.